Hi guys, this is Mark from FC. Welcome to my 1400 card submission from SGC. Hi guys, welcome to another post of my SGC reveal of which I received 1400 cards back just um, a matter of week a week ago and um, here we have three boxes um, to open today two larger ones and a regular size one um, so yeah let's start off with one of the larger boxes this larger box here and I think they're about 50 cards also in this in this larger box as opposed to the 20 24 I think so yeah about 48 cards here so yeah okay so let's open up and see what we have in here Right, so first off, we've got uh, right. We've got Maradona. Some Maradona cards. First of all, we have we have a nineteen eighty two Panini World Cup sticker. And they're SGC8, that's fantastic for one of these. That's a really good grade. So yeah, that's 1982 World Cup. Let's put that there. And next we have a grade six of that card. Um, next we have a 1982 Panini Sports Superstars Diego Maradona, Armando Maradona and that's a 6.5 and then a 1982, so I think I submitted these in, in date order so yeah this is 1982 Catalunya Porta del Mundial um, card from Spain for the S Spanish World Cup that's a lovely card look at his hair amazing great great card really nice uh, image and that's a grade 5 Diego Armando Maradona so he plays for Boca Juniors at the time Next card, I think I've featured this before in a higher grade. This is from uh, Editions Este from Spain. And this is him while he was at, Mar at um, Barcelona. And that's a lovely card, really nice. I got an 8.5 for the one on the previous post. And we have another one. Unfortunately, this is a lower grade. I think there's some surface surface damage there, but 3.5. Still quite a rare card, and not many of these have been graded, but such a lovely card for Maradona, early Maradona in his career. So it's Liga 1982 from Este. Next we have a 1983 Marga, Marga card from um, Spain again and I just found these to be absolutely beautiful cards the graphics, love them yeah the uh, 
red and red and blue we have the badge there as well barcelona and maradona in a diamond in the middle i thought that was fantastic and there's some details about him on the back let's put that up next we have 1983 este um yeah, this is the follow-on year from this one. So this is the, the year after and his last year at Barcelona. And that's a grade five. Lovely back, look at that type on there. Liga. Grade five. We have from the same set, the team photo. In a grade four. And there is Maradona there in the middle. Same back again. We have next a 1984 Chroma Esport. And um, this is from his album, Sus Dribbling, Sus Goals. And there's a, a lot of these sort of stickers or cards, they're cards. And um, yeah, they're produced in Spain for a, a Maradona album. And I got a nine for that one. I thought it was really cool. He's got a, you know, little boy there teaching him maybe the mascot for the match. And um, yeah, it looks really good, I thought. It's a grade. So yeah, a nine. Let's put that up. So next we have a 1984 Chromo Sport, same set as the one before. He's in his um, Argentinos Juniors kit, playing for them there, 8.5. So the same set as before, really nice card, unstuck, 8.5, that's another really good high grade. Let's put that there. And the same year from Editorial Marga again, we have probably his last card for um, Barcelona, and that's a 7.5. Yeah, it's really nice with the badge there. Decent grade, nice back. Put that up there. And we also got a 6.5 for that card. Just slightly off center. That's probably why it's come down in a grade. Different color back for some reason. Next we have a 1984 Rothmans. Now these are printed quite a well, printed quite a few times, but thought to grade a number of these because they're just sort of early Maradona cards. They look quite good. So there's a 9.5 for that one. And apparently they're selling for quite high prices at the moment. I saw last week. Let's buy on the back. Yeah, nice card. We have a 9. Another nine, so these are grading quite well. These are in good condition. Oh, we have a 10, grade 10 for that. Let's put that one there. We have a grade nine for that. And another 9.5. Next we have a 1984 Panini Calciatori Diego Maradona um, wonderful sticker for while he's playing at Napoli. This is his first year at Napoli, who's just signed. And that's a 6.5. Love this early Maradona sticker. 
from Panini. And following that, we have a 1985 Panini Calciatore, and this is a 6.5. Really hard to grade these, it seems, but yeah, this has got a bit of surface issue. Very, very light, but enough to bring it down. Love the uh, pink borders. Here's another one, grade four, unfortunately. And lastly, from this box, there's a Panini Super Sport stickers, 1985, and that's a grade five. I remember collecting this album, so just had to have this, uh, this sticker. I think I have a couple of these actually, graded PSA as well, um, but they don't look so good in the holders as this, quite well framed. So next we have the 1986 Panini World Cup album um, for Mexico 86. And this is a sticker that I remember and it sort of um, glowed in the album. And this is the, uh, yeah, the World Cup, the number one sticker for the World Cup um, 86 album. And that's a 6.5, very difficult to get high grades in stickers and then definitely hard to get to it all right so clean back so there's no um, type on there but yeah difficult to get a high grade in these let's put that up got another one here grade five also a clean back no uh, details on the back there. Apparently these are quite rare. It's a grade five. And another 6.5. Another clean back. No details. Next we have 1986. Panini Super Sport Maradona, and this is um, Italian version, and this is a foil card. And I think when this was released, I got this uh, album, and this actually stuck onto a poster that you took the um, the little sticker inside there and applied it. This is a grade seven. Really difficult to get high grades again in these because they mark so easily. But that's really nice, like that. And we have a 7.5 of that. Again, Italian version foil sticker. Unfortunately, there are fingerprints on this one, which I didn't put on there. But unfortunately, that's you can see that. And that's a 7.5. So that's a better grade. So we'll swap those over. Next, we have a 1986 Dandy Gum Ace of Spades card featuring Maradona. That's pretty cool. I've only seen this once ever. So yeah, Dandy Football Gum football bubblegum card. And next we have a 1986 Panini football sticker. That's Spanish issue for, a, for a Spanish album, 1986. And that's really cool. That's a good grade, grade eight. So we'll put that up. And 
also got a grade four. Same again. Not so good. Next we have 1989 Panini Torre Diego Armando Maradona. So this was several years, this is five years after his um, first appearance for Napoli. And that's a grade seven. Still wonderful stickers to have. Anything from Barcelona and Napoli. So all these early cards are great from, um, from uh, Maradona. I wouldn't call this early actually. 89. Got another seven. I guess they're off center, top to bottom. Next we have a 1990, Italia 90, Panini World Cup, Maradona. Grade eight, that's quite strong. Let's put that up here. We also got a grade four. And back to Napoli, we have a 1990 Panini Calciatore again, Maradona, 4.5. So this is after he, he was um, so upset after losing the final. Next we have um, 1993 Panini Football. This is where he transferred to Sevilla, back to La Liga following um, his great time at Napoli, winning UEFA Cup and double um, winner of the, the league there, Serie A. So back to Seville, and he still had it. You check out the videos on him at Sevilla, definitely still had it. A few more pounds, so that's a grade seven. Estrellas de la Liga, so that's stars of the league in Spain. We have another one in a much lower grade, grade three, must be a crease. Next we have uh, 2018 Panini FIFA 365 stickers. I thought they, these were quite fun and they've got sort of this uh, gold shimmer and they're two stickers in one with him full length playing and a portrait both for Napoli and this one is a grey back 8.5 and we have lastly for Maradona we have a 9 in that again grey back So next we go to the rest of the stack and we have some Champions of Europe Lionel Messi stickers from 2005 and I think anything really early from Messi is going to appreciate in value um, like you wouldn't believe. I think 2005, especially this Champions League, anything Champions League, but 2005 was his first full season um, playing Champions League. So. Yeah, these are great, um, I think great assets to, to have in your collection. So there's a nine. I've got an 8.5. And we have another eight. And we've got a 10. So that's a perfect gem mint 10 for Lionel Messi. That will go into the collection. And we have a grade nine of the same sticker. Um, a grade eight. You can see it's off center. 
and we have 2009 i just thought to throw these in as well these 2009 champions league sticker from um yeah for 2009 2010 and that's a 9.5 just thought some of these um photos and images are, are very nice so that went in and then lastly from that box we have a 2008 champions league sticker so the looks for Messi do uh, vary. He, he does change his style a little bit. Cuts his hair, 2009, to this one. Also love the uh, kits. I'm a bit of a Barcelona fan, so and I um, collect um, a lot of Barcelona cards and stickers. So yeah, that's nice to see all the kits. So yeah, thought to get this um, graded. It's an 8.5. So guys, next we have another large box. With about 48 cards again. So let's see what we have here. Okay, so we've got more Messi, and this is um, Messi's first ever card from 2004. This actually um, comes before any of the Mega Cracks cards, and I believe the Este sticker. But the Este sticker might be first, I'm not too sure. But here we have a Mundi Chromo 8.5. And I do believe the um, a t grade 10 went for something like $80,000. So yeah, these have gone up tremendously in price. So we have a few of these in this collection. So there's an 8.5. Let's put that on. We have a grade seven. Fortunately, the um, post-it note little thing I put on top of the penny sleeve, penny sleeve uh, made a little mark on some of these, and this is why I think they have a low grade. Um, yeah, so there's a grade seven. Uh, here's a grade nine. That's really strong. Just so difficult to get anything really high because they're so often off center. So that's a grade nine. That's superb. We have a grade eight. Slightly off center again. A 7.5. Love these cards. They've got, um, yeah, I mean here it's, he hasn't played a game yet. So it's five position, uh, five appearances for Barcelona B. So he hasn't actually played for the full side yet. And yeah, midfielder. And he's labeled as his, his full name there, Luis Leonardo Messi. Such a cool, car cool card. I, I picked these up really cheaply from Spain um, and no one had much faith, faith for these cards. Um, and now suddenly they do. The auctions are, yeah, I think it was Golden who just sold a card for like 66,000 with a, um, that's dollars with a premium on top. So yeah, there's a seven, 7.5, another grade seven. another great uh, grade 7.5 and I have quite a few of these grade 8 another grade 7 so whenever whenever these popped up um, on Todor I sort of picked them up 
because they were very inexpensive. 7.5 for this one. Another 7.5. And I also thought to put the checklist in as well. That's an 8.5. So there's Messi there. We have another one of those. And that's an 8.5. Then I thought to put in the year after as well. So we've got 2005 Mundi Chromo. This is number 602. That's from the same, the same set, but just the year after. That's a 7.5. And there's another one, that's a 6.5. And this is the year after that, that's an 8.5. So it's 2006. Guys, I recommend that you pick up anything early, early messy, 2004, five and six, even seven. Because if they go anywhere like the Maradona cards or Pele cards, then yeah, they're great investments. 7.5. And then I also put in some Mundi Chromo from 2004. Um, and this is the dual card or the quad card. And that one got a 6.5. This is a foil version. There's a matte version as well, white card. 6.5, got an 8, um, got a 6, not sure why this got a 6, maybe the um, printing marks, maybe there's a few issue in issues with printing, but great cards to have, really brilliant cards, very early in his career as well, first year, so it's considered a rookie. So next, guys, I, I thought to put these in. These are quite exciting cards. They're die-cut Lionel Messi cards, finest careers, Champions League, and these are gold out of 50. This is number eight out of 50. Um, just brilliant cards from 2018 tops. So finest UEFA, Champions League, uh, finest careers. Yeah, I love these cards. They're just so different to anything else that I have anyway. Yeah, and they're limited and they're gold as well. I really like that. So that's an 8.5. Let's put that up here. Also, we have a variation of that, that last card. Um, this is um, number one, with this one being number two. Leon Messi one, and that's five out of 50, gold again, and that's a grade eight, finest careers. Leon Messi only five foot seven. So guys, there's also an, another few variations of these that I submitted, and this is 20 out of 50, and this is labeled as Leonel Messi number nine, so you can see the, the different kits every season. I think they did one of, um, yeah, new card for him, where well, there was a new photo for him. And that's 20 out of 50. Um, we have number six, which is gold again. I think I went a bit mad buying um, the gold versions of these. That's 35 out of 50. These were so inexpensive at the time. Um, I don't suppose they are anymore being limited and the craze of going for sort of numbered cards right now. So that's an 8.5. Um, here is a LM1, so Lionel Messi 1 again. And that's a grade 8, 30 out of 50, gold again. We have a 
Number four, Lionel Messi four, and that's a nine. 41 out of 50. We have um, number six. That's an 8.5. 45 out of 50. Gold again. And also to put, put also I thought to put some um, sort of unnumbered ones in. So these would be base, and this is a 4.5. And I'm not sure what makes that a 4.5. Yeah, still a nice card. Same card, but this time in a grade nine. And we have one more, and it's another gold. 19, 19 from 50, and that's Lionel Messi number five. Next guys, we have a number of Georgie Best stickers and cards, and this is a 1967 Panini Calciatore, George Best. I actually bought his rookie card not long ago, and I'm looking forward to submitting that. And this is a grade three off center, and there's some little marks on the back. Yeah, but nice to have an early George Best item. Let's move this out of the way. Let's put that there. Next we have his 1968 A, B and C gum card. Now these are my, probably my favorite George Best cards. It's just the pose he's in and the red uh, borders with the red shirt and yeah, the blue sky in the background. I just think that just looks amazing. So it looks really good in these SGC slabs being a contrasting black with white borders. So it's a 4.5. Let's put that up here. We have another one of those in a grade four. And another one in a grade six. This is a better card, but just off center bringing it down to a six from maybe a seven or an eight. And for that, these cards, I just have a one more and this is a grade seven. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, definitely one of my favorite cards actually. Let's change that one. Next, we have a 1970 Nabisco George Best number one card in a grade six. Guys, I didn't show you the backs of the um, 1968 card. That's, that's what you get um, from that card there. Football of the year. 67, 68. One of the most exciting players in the league in league football. And they also put a little question there at the bottom. So yeah, this is Nabisco in a grade six. And then we have an earlier card, which is a 1967. A, B, and C gum cards. And this is probably one of the hardest cards to find in good good condition, because I have tried to find a good version of these, uh, of this card in um, for George Best. And the best I can do, I think, is a three or a four. 
very difficult. They must be hiding somewhere. But yeah, lovely card. And that uh, comes before this one. We have in the same set now, we have um, Alan Ball in a grade three. For Everton and England, of course, World Cup winner against Germany. Have uh, Billy Bremner, who played for Leeds United and Scotland. Fantastic player, Billy Bremner. And from the same set as the 68 A, B, and C, we have um, Pat Crerant, who was. Yeah, Manchester United star, 1968-69. In the six. So next we have Rodney Marsh in a 1968 A, B and C gum card. So that's just like the same year from Georgie Breast there. Now, Rodney Marsh actually did play with Georgie Best at um, Fulham later on in both of their careers. Um, and Rod Rodney Marsh also played in the States. Yeah, he played in the States for Tampa Bay Rowdies. Played for Man City and QPR, amongst other teams. We have Nobby Styles for Manchester United and England. World Cup winner again. Great player. Little knobby stars, 4.5. Georgie Best teammate. Um, Alex Stepney, who was goalkeeper for Manchester United in a grade five. We have a, another World Cup winner in Jackie Charlton. So brother of Bobby Charlton, Leeds United in a grade five. We have Mike Summerby, another international England player. Played for Manchester City, 6.5. Another international player for England, Jimmy Greaves. So prolific. Tottenham Hotspur, played for Chelsea as well. And he was left out the, uh, the team for the World Cup final against Germany. But before that, actually scored so many goals. And that's a grade eight, which is really strong for these cards. So we'll put that up. And finally, we have Alan Mullery from the same set and Tottenham Hotspur once again. So we have our final box of this post, a smaller one. And about 24, 25 cards in this one. covers off okay so next we have Peter Benetti who was England goalkeeper in a grade six we have Gordon Banks who preceded him who was in the uh, 66 World Cup final and uh, Played in the 70 World Cup as well. That's a grade seven. Let's put Banks there. We have another 
Gordon Banks in 6.5. Love these this set. I love the uh, A, B, and C sets. And uh, we have the year after. This is a uh, Bobby Charlton 1969 A, B, and C 4.5. Here's the back, green back. We have Jeff Hurst, 1969, in the grade six. So World Cup score in the final. Another George, Jeff Hurst, 6.5. I think I put a number of World Cup winners for England. This um, Bobby Moore is another one. That's a 7.5. Bobby Moore. England captain, of course. There's Tony Brook for Manchester City. One of the legends of the game for Manchester City in a grade seven. And here is what I thought would be Peter Shilton's rookie card because it was sort of labelled as it's 1971 and apparently he came out um, as a rookie in 1967 even. So, I mean, he was playing into the, the 90s, you know, well into the 90s. So what amazing career he had. So England goalkeeper, of course. 7.5, 1971 ABN C gum. Purple back. From the same set, we have Bobby Moore in a grade five. And a grade seven. We have more Gordon Banks, um, a grade eight. Legendary England goalkeeper. Next, we have some modern cards, and this is a Jaden Sancho Tops BVB playing for Dortmund. It's a 9.5, 2020. And we have a Jaden Sancho signature moves and celebrations. That's a 10 from the same set. We have Giovanni Reina, Gio Reina in a grade nine. And another one in a grade 10. Apparently he's going to be the next big deal for the United States. 9.5. We have an 8.5. And next we have some more Lionel Messi. And this is his rookie sticker. We have a grade eight for his Este sticker which actually I don't believe is um, Panini it's um, labeled as Panini but I um, PSA and both um, SGC label it that way and I think it's they were bought out later um, Este were bought out later by Panini um, but yeah that's an eight fantastic stickers to own yeah rookie messy for me, this is just behind um, the BIS 71 and maybe the um, number 35, Campione or Campio. As good as that, but fantastic. These are going for massive amounts of money, but great to have in the collection. Early Messi. We have a 7, grade 7. Um, another grade eight. Okay, 
we have a 6.5. And lastly, from, oh no, we have two more. We've got a grade nine. And lastly, in the packet, we have one more and it's a grade eight. So a great, great set, great submission of, um, these uh, rookie stickers for Messi. Really happy with those. So guys, this is my selection of um, best cards and stickers from this uh, post. We have the Messi rookie sticker, grade nine. We've got a Mundi Chromo that is rising in price, and that's a grade nine. We've got a 2005, um, Panini Champions of Europe Messi stick, uh, sticker. We have Georgie Best in a grade, super grade seven. Uh, Jimmy Greaves in a grade eight. And a selection of Maradonas with the, probably the feature being the 1982 um, World Cup sticker. The Spanish World Cup sticker for Argentina. And my, one of my favorites, the uh, Marga 1983 card. And of course the Mexico 86 Maradona sticker. So guys, if you like this post, please give me a thumbs up and check out my um, next post where I'll be showing another four or five boxes of my SGC submission. Thanks a lot.